Hey everyone, um, today I'm going to teach you something that you should always keep by your sink. Um, I got the water running. There's a toothbrush for one, old one, whatever. Little container like this. Uh, mix a little more in here. So I have some extra soap in there. Alright, so this is... So this is a combination of baking soda, or baking powder, one of the two, and um, liquid dish soap. And you just... I already had some made, but, um, you know, I just added some more soap because it was a little bit of hard as a rock. Um, moisture got in there and kind of made it harder, but you just mix it up and make it look, you know, kind of like that. So, I'll just wash the rest of that off. I'm going to actually use this mixture to clean the screwdriver. The screwdriver is pretty gross. Um, but you can use this mixture for to clean a lot of really a lot of things. So, today I'm going to show you how to, you see this jar, like I like to save jars to like, do things with them, so this one had a label on it at one point, it was a pickle jar, and then this sticky residue from the label, I'm going to show you how to take that off. I'm going to finish peeling some of this paper off so that uh, that's not getting in our way. I can use the um, screwdriver for that. Lightly use the screwdriver to help you um, scrape off the rest of the um, paper from the label. But to loosen the label to get it off is you just fill your sink up with um, some hot water. Oh, my hand got stuck to it because of the stickiness on the other side. Hot water and um, dish soap and let it soak for about an hour probably or whatever and um you know the label should come right off but if it's a plastic label unfortunately you'll have to peel it off yourself so all right so i got most of the paper label right off um so i like to use jars like i like to make things with them um I'll take tissue paper and kind of glue them on there or whatever. So you're going to take some of the um, baking powder and um, the dish soap, put it on the toothbrush, just like this. And here's the sticky stuff here. It's not sticky anymore because it's wet. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to do circular motions around it, just like that applying a good amount to it and keep going you can push down quite hard if you want to um, not really hard because you don't want the jar to break on you but you can, uh, you can apply some pressure so there's that and then there's more sticky stuff I don't know if you can see it but it's right here on, on top of my finger so again some slight pressure I don't know if you, any of you know that uh, know about this already, but I do. I looked it up online. I found it on Google. Um, it's a good thing to use if you know you wanna you want a jar because you wanna make something with it, and you know you peel the label off and you got this sticky crap all over it and you can't get it off. This is what you would use. So now you can do. DIY crafts with jars because you know how to take the sticky residue off. See, so the sticky residue is actually right there on the uh, toothbrush. I'll just rinse that off real quick. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna rinse it off, all this stuff off real quick, and I'll show you the results of that side. 
and then I gotta do the other side, but I just wanna show you the result of the sticky side so you can actually see the difference, okay? So here, that was the sticky side. There's still a little bit left right here. You can do a little more, but pretty much all of it is gone. So when you run out of it on your thing, you just take it, take your toothbrush and put it right back in there. And you go over it again. And again, apply some pressure, just a little bit. You have to go back and forth, or you can go around in circles like I do. I kind of like to go around in circles because it's a little more effective that way and it comes off. So, I think we got everything off on this side of the jar. So now we're going to rotate it without holding the soap because I'll probably drop it. This is the side that, has the, that had the rest of it on there. So now I'm going to do the circular motion on this side as well. So that I'm going to do the entire jar. And you can even make it so that you bought the jar this way. And that, aside from the cover anyway, because the cover will give it away that it was something else. But, um, because I can even show you how to take the uh, expiration dates off the jars as well. Because they're printed on there with ink. So now I'm going to rinse this off again. You want to hold the jar with your opposite hand um, while you're doing this because it will get slippery. The baking soda makes it extra slippery. Um, so you don't want it to break. I think I got it all off. I'm just going to give it a quick dry, see if I got it all off or not. wanted to do this before I started making dinner. I just thought of a pretty neat video idea. Right inside so you can see what I had done. So once this is a little bit wet, this cloth is a little, okay. So yep, I did. I got it all off. I'm going to use, i got to spread that out afterwards, but I'm going to use this one to dry it all the way, even though this one's still a little wet too. Um, I just did dishes, so dry it like this. I usually just like stuff the whole towel in there, and then I'll keep my thumb like that, and I'll just rotate the towel in the jar, and I'll pull it out. All right. So it looks like there's still a little bit left on there. Just a little, little spot, just like right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. I still have some stuff on the toothbrush, so I'm just gonna go over that just a little bit. Apply some pressure. And that should do it. I think that's the only spot. Yep. Okay, so that was the only spot. So now that it's off, I just got to rinse it off. So now I'm going to show you the expiration date. So you can see it right there. I'm going to take the toothbrush again. It still has some baking soda and stuff like that on it. I'm just going to apply some pressure and go back and forth over that one spot with the toothbrush. I have a soft bristle toothbrush. You can use any t kind of bristles, just not a wire one because you don't want scratches all over it. So there. Just like that. Now I'm going to rinse it so you can see the uh, difference. Rinse it one more time, then I'll probably just put it out on the towel and let it dry overnight. Or it'll probably end up being dry, fully dried by the end of the day. And put the cover back on. I use um, salad dressing containers 
or you can, you know, use your own container. Uh, whatever container you want to use. Just wipe off the counter here and I can shut the water off now. That's how I got the sticky stuff off these bottles too. I reuse these. I have another one here. Okay, now we can shut the water off. And I'm going to dry the jar. I think I'm actually going to use a different towel because that one's kind of wet. And usually when you use a wet towel, it doesn't really like to dry that good. So I'm going to use a different one. This one here. Just wrap the jar up and dry it really good. I think we can actually take this. This could be washed. Put that in the laundry. Um. Okay. How did that happen? Got a bunch of cat hair in my sink. Interesting. I don't know if it came off the green towel or if it just came off the white one. It's weird. Oh, the sink is bad. So I'll just dry this off. I tried not to dry. I uh, dropped the jar on the sink because I have a ceramic top sink. Ugh. So now, again, to dry the inside, take the towel, stuff it all the way in there. Use your thumb, turn it. For some reason, the outside of this jar is still wet. Okay, there we go. Now I'm still Okay. And the outside of this jar is still wet. I hate dish towels that, you know, don't dry things at all. Turn my phone. They don't dry things at all. Like, you can sit there and dry a cup or a... a jar like this for hours and it, the towel you're using and it just doesn't seem to want to get dry so this one's almost done now I'll show you the end result I'll do another video um, at some point I'll probably do another video probably tomorrow not tonight um, it's getting late I do have to make dinner I'll probably do another video tomorrow showing you how to make that stuff. So here is the jar. Completely clean. No more sticky stuff. No more expiration date. That is completely gone. And it is done. That's how you do that. Is there still something right there? Is that inside? Hmm. There's a lot of bubbles in this glass. It's kind of cool. The way it looks is really weird. My face is funny in the jar. <laughs> Alright, so that's how you clean the stickiness off of jars. And I use jars a lot. Like, I'll probably end up making something with this one. I gotta bring this one back downstairs because this is for the bird food. I'm gonna use these two here for my iced coffee. They have Starbucks covers on the top of them, but they are not the Starbucks um, jars. I do have the Starbucks jars, but only one has the label completely taken off. And that, I'll show you that so you know what that looks like. I gotta work on the other ones. But this is a Starbucks jar with the label completely removed. It kind of looks like an, a milk jar. Got to wash it out again, it's kind of gross. But I got coffee in the fridge that I'm uh, chilling so I can make my iced coffee in a little bit. But there's that one. And then I have three more, but they're not, um, the labels aren't removed. And then I have an honest, uh, tea one that I gotta do that's not finished yet but then I have this one here and I have this one here these are all jars for food and stuff I just washed them out and then hang on one second
this was a candle that I just it was a, a vase for a candle and I took all the wax out and then the metal thing for the wick on the bottom there's a couple of rocks in here right now because I don't know where to put them but then this part is tissue paper that you would you know use at birthday parties and stuff and I put Mod Podge on the outside of the jar one section at a time and then I um, used the and I just I think I used a card like a, a hard plastic card and smoothed it out all the way around because you can see right here where it overlaps and then I made it go on the bottom too so it's like that and then I put another layer of Mod Podge over it which I think I gotta do another one because this one's kind of coming off you can hear the rocks in there um, but yeah, I put another layer of Mod Podge over it so it's a little bit shiny. But I'll show you what this is for. Let's take these rocks out. Quartz rocks that I found. So you can buy these at the Dollar Tree or any dollar store. I prefer the Dollar Tree because they're you can buy a two pack for a buck. So this is like a little tea light. And you just turn it on like that. And then place it in the bottom of the jar like that and then it lights up hold on I can't really see it that good there see and then it kind of lights up I'm trying to make it see there you see it now you can see it it lights up and I think after a while it will flicker but it looks really cool so this thing I also learned you can also do this with napkins like if you have Christmas napkins you can um, use like take a jar like this and put a Christmas napkin on the outside of it and do the same thing with the Mod Podge so you can make you know uh, Christmas tea light candle holders I watched a video on YouTube on how to do that that was pretty interesting and that's where I was like hmm maybe I wonder if I can do that with a candle and I did just put the rocks back in there. So that's it. I just wanted to show you that. Let me go put this back. I have a green frosted glass too over there that I use for a candle. But I wanted to show you that um, for this video. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. This is a pickle jar. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. But I'll figure out something. Um, but I am going to use these for... That was easy. I am going to use these for my iced coffee. But I wanted to show you this thing. I painted this. It's my alligator. Painted it. It's on a rock. That's what it looked like before I painted it. But on the other side. And then I just... It's kind of cool, actually. All right, that's going to conclude this video for today. Um, I will talk to you guys later. I like I, I will probably do a video tomorrow um, showing you how to make that. I just got to find the rest of the containers. I do have more. Um, oh, it's hot. But that's that's it for this video. I will see you guys later. Peace out. Brave the light.